Hi everyone, thanks very much for tuning in. So today it's the 23rd of April. You can see that most of my trimmers have started great. So now it's the 22nd, sorry, 23rd of April. On a Sunday, it's about 17 degrees Celsius outside and it's that time of year where we're going to start all of my lawnmowers for 2017. This will be the first time you hear them. So already I haven't been making any lawn cutting, well, lawn cutting videos because as you can see that the grass is still uh, pretty much dead and hasn't grown yet. And last week it's been really wet and especially the day I made the uh, trimmer video, uh, we got rained on. So this series will be spanned into two videos. Uh, we'll do 16 machines and then 20 machines with random. So sorry for the wind noise outside but I know you guys want this badly and so do I so let's get started oh before I begin make sure to check on the video description where I'll include timestamps of a particular machine so that way you know which one I started up okay so the very first one we're going to be doing uh, is a 1999 yard machines uh, rotary tiller it has a five horsepower Briggs & Stratton classic engine It's got some gas. All right, so we're gonna put it to choke and low throttle for now. All right, see how the tool. That's good. Ear protection. Not a problem. Perfect. Can rely on this Briggs, that's for sure. Machine number two. This one here is a 1997 Longboy 10302, four and a half horsepower four cycle silver series. It has the TVS 115 Tecumseh engine. So just make sure that yeah, oil's good. Make sure you check your oil on your Tecumseh's since these are known to eat up oil. And here's the model number, 10302, and the seven indicates it's a 97. Self-propelled, righty. Gotta prime this guy. I think it should be going on the first, second pull. Number three, we'll do another Tecumseh powered lawn boy. This is a five horsepower silver series. Uh, engine is an LEV 115, 10360C from 2001. And it looks mint condition. Even the original paint, I rarely use this one. So we should have no problem starting this one after adding a fuel valve to it.
Okay, so let's take a little break from the fourth strokes and film one of my two strokes. This one here is a 1982 Lonboy 5126. This is the F380 powered Lonboy uh, that I got from my country house, which is sold already. You can tell that it is an older machine with the metal tag instead of the paper tags that they used uh, after 1983. Has the utility deck model modified for mulching. All right, so. Nothing wrong with that one. Gotta miss that sound. Okay, so this is my other 5126. This one is from 1986. And you can tell it is a later model than the other one. You can tell that the paint is on the lighter side of green. It's not the pea green that they used back in the 70s. And of course, the paper tag. So it's a 5126 and it's 9504. 211 Okay Okay, I'll need two hands for this one Perfect. Up next is my 1973 Lonboy 5272, first generation D600. I got this one as a parts mower where the cylinder head was pretty much finished and I got this one rebuilt. On the original deck, 5272. 19 inch magnesium. All right, so see how this one does. Love your 
Rowan Key Products. Not too bad for a scrap machine. Love it. This one here is a 1973 Lonboy 5239B. This has a D408 engine, magnesium 19 inch deck, and there is the model number, you really can't see it, but that's 5239B, and the serial number is 72906. Let's check if it has gas. Okay, just put some in a little bit here. Okay, not too much. This has the fingertip start where the on and off switch functions both as a switch and a primer. Next up is my uncle's 1987 Lomboy 5127, again on the 20 inch utility deck. It's modified for mulching. This has the F engine. Made in Canada. You know those are going to start pretty well. Close the valve on this one. Sweet. Up next is my 1991 Longboy CM21 ERMA M Series lawnmower. Right. Uh, there it is, the model number. And it's a 901. Five horsepower M Series. Commercial grade, piston ported, similar to the Suzuki. Okay, no primer, just choke.
Nice. Okay, so back to four strokes. This is the 2010 Lonboy 10642C with a Briggs & Stratton Quantum engine with ready start. 6.75 pounds per feet of gross torque. This one has a second motor which originally blew up in 2013. So summer 2014 we just put one up. Here's the model number. Has electric start, but I think I should pull in the first pull. The wind is picking up a little bit in the video. So up next is a 1981 uh, Lawn Boy 5277, the F100 engine. Serial number is 9535476. All right, let's go see how this one starts. Okay, another vertical start, the 5277's brother. This is a 1980, no, 79, Lawn Boy 5247, same F100. This is the harder starting of the two. Gotta love it. Now we're gonna be starting up a 1988 Long Boy 7073 with another F engine. Yeah. <laughs> 
Bon boy. All right, this is for Peter Boca. A little vacuuming job here. So, all these lawnmowers I started and uh, I'm putting them away for now. So, let's get back to the cold starts. Now, time to, for me to put in a good workout with this machine. <laughs> so, this one here is a 1990 Rally BP75AR. 5 horsepower Briggs & Stratton Quantum engine. And there it is. Alright. trick with Briggs and Stratton quantum engines to fill the gas chamber. Nice. Up next we have a 1984 Lawn Boy 4630. This is the four square deck with the F engine. Eighty four was the only year that this model number was produced. Started to become compliant. Or prime should be fine. And this is the last lawnmower we'll feature for part one of the video. So this is my 1987 Lawn Boy 8243AE minus electric starter converted to recoil. I got this lawnmower off eBay about eight years ago. Yeah, this is an American made OMC. You can tell by the chrome handle. All right, I remember this one quite well. <laughs> I remember starting this one and the rope broke. This should not be the case here since I got another rope for it. Just gonna adjust the height. Did I find it too low? Okay, this is another Walbro carburetor. A uh, really good carb for a lawn boy. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't have a uh, primer bulb, so
right guys, so next part, we're gonna feature all these lawnmowers. All right, enjoy guys.